you want quick results, I'm going to show you how to remove that repossession, that charge off, that bankruptcy, those collections, those late payments. No more waiting a year. No more waiting two years. No more waiting three years. I'm going to show you how to knock all those things off in the next 30 days. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So in today's class, I'm going to show you four different ways of how you can remove negative items off your credit report because the traditional way going through mail is taking too long. And I'm going to show you how to remove these negative items within 30 days. So with that being said, hey, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know you got to get yourself in the drink. Because class is going to be a good one. Wait, before we get into the lesson, I just want to let you know that, yo, this secret letter, hey, it still works. Setting the credit bureaus up, hey, it still works. It still gets you results. But waiting 30 days, 60 days, 90 days for the credit bureaus to respond, hey, we don't got time to wait on them. So there's a more an efficient and effective way to hey, knock them credit bureaus out. So I'm going to show you how to remove all those negative items off your credit report in a timely fashion, right? Step by step by step. So you can start seeing the results and not wait in a year, two years to see results. So with that being said, let's just get into the lesson. Hey, welcome to today's lesson. I'm going to show you how to get quick results, right? Quick results, A, hey, within the next 30 days, right? So the first way I'm going to show you how to do it is to get results in 30 days. The second way, 25 days. The third way in 14 days. The fourth way in five days. Yes, five days. Hey, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And it all depends on what you have going on. So stick around and let's get into the first way to get results in 30 days. Hey, when you come to class, hey, it's time to learn, right? So the first thing you have to do is download your credit report, right? Not old credit karma. You need to see a real credit report. You need to be able to see Experian, TransUnion, Equifax. You have to see what's going on first before you start doing anything. I don't want you to mess this up, so check what's going on on your credit report because depending on what you have on your credit report is depending on which way you dispute, right? And how you clean up your credit report and what you got to do to improve your credit score. So download your credit report. Once you know how to do this, you can be able to do anything. So first thing you have to do is download the credit report. Now, what you want to do is look at everything. This is just an overview, right? I can't go. I'm going to make another video on how to actually analyze your credit report, your whole credit report. But for right now, we're just going to look at the overview of what's going on on our credit report, right? So total accounts, we just want to check it out, right? We want to make sure that's accurate, right? Open accounts. Hey, do we have, are these, are all these open accounts mods, right? You want to make sure of that. Close accounts, you want to check on that, right? Are all the closed accounts supposed to be closed? If they're not, then you know what you have to do. You have to call in and check why they're closed, what happened, right? Delinquent account. A delinquent account means um, recent late payments on that account. So if you have recent late payments, you want to make sure you clean that part up, right? Derogatory accounts mean um, charge off, repossession, evasion. Those are the different type of derogatory accounts. So you want to remove all those negative items, right? And you want to identify what kind of derogatory it is. Because depending on what type, what type of derogatory account it is, depending on which way you dispute, right? Collections, we already know what collections are. So we just want to make sure um, are those collection mines and just identify what happened, right? Now with the balances, you just want to make sure, hey, are these all balances mine? Are these correct? Because if they're not, there's a different way you have to go about disputing payments, right? Same thing. Am I making on-time payments? Are these payments um, currently mine? Is there something um, on my credit report that's not supposed to be? You have to check that. Public records, do you have any bankruptcies, right? If you have a bankruptcy, technically it's not really supposed to be on your credit report because according to the bankruptcy in the um, to the actual courthouse, they say that, hey, we don't report nothing, right? Inquiries, right? And hey, we definitely have to check inquiries because when we go to the car lot, hey, they be taken off, right? So just check those inquiries, right? And then once you identify everything on your credit report, hey, it's time to go into the first way to start disputing. So to get results in 30 days, right? The first place we're gonna use is a the BBB, the Better Business Bureau, right? We're gonna follow the complaint with them and we're gonna start seeing results hey, within the timely fashion. So the first place you're gonna do is file a complaint. You're gonna click on, I, I wanna file a complaint against a whatever. 
I like to share experience about this business. I want to learn, uh, follow the plane. Did you have a problem, right? So you're going to search the business name, right? So this is why the, the credit report is very important. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to go with conversion. So that's what a lot of people have, conversion outsourcing. And this is going to pop up. No, 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 no. So you're going to click on continue and you're going to click on. So I already have an existing complaint. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on continue because I don't want to um, waste your time when it comes to information. So put your personal information, fill everything out and you're going to click on continue. And then does this, did this occur within the last 12 months? Yes. It all depends on what you have going on, right? No. And then tell us more about your problem, right? So what happened? So we already know what happened, right? Hey, according to the law, hey, according to the law, anything on your credit report, if you don't want it, hey, it's supposed to be not, it's supposed to be private, right? However, and they're supposed to have written instructions to put anything on your credit report, right? So they validated, they uh, validated, I mean, they violated you in that way as well. Also, they communicated with you. I'm pretty sure they sent you a letter and phone calls, right? So we always talk about the different laws. So make sure you put all the different laws right here um, in, um, in this detail section, right? Once you put all the different laws in this detail section, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the laws, right? So, so you can see what I'm talking about. So let me find the law real quick and then go ahead So you can see what I'm talking about. So also, and this is just show the different laws and how they violate your rights, right? This is the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And also you can put the FDCPA um, as well, right? The FDCPA is 15 um, USC 1692, right? So you wanna also put that as well. So 1692, and I believe it's um, C, and that's communications. Because we already know that's one of the ones that, that, that they always violate, right? They're not supposed to communicate at you with all. And I believe we can also look up a few more and you can add all the different laws they violated. And they have, hey, once you show them all the laws they violated and you have proof, hey, it's game over, right? So 15 USC 1681 section 60, uh, section 602A states, I have the right to privacy. 15 USC 1681 section 604, um, a section two, it also states a consumer reporting agency cannot furnish an account without my written instruction. The reason why they became a consumer reporting agency because they put that, that collection on your credit report, right? Anybody that furnished anything on your credit report is now a um, consumer reporting agency because now they furnish an account. So now they have to um, go under those laws as well. So this is a way to get things removed. So 15 USC, we can also look this up as well. So um, so you can see what I'm talking about. I didn't mean to cut that. Because I want to show you what's a few ways they violated your rights. So you want to go ahead and click on that. You want to see the law um, of Cornell and then connection, right? So this is a the famous one, right? But there's many laws if you look them up, right? Without the prior consent of the consumer given directly to the debt collector or the express of permission of a court, a debt collector may not communicate with any consumer with any collection of any debt, right? Hey, Claire's day, copy that, put it in there. Hey, they violated your right on what date, put all that in there. And if you want to screenshot, take a picture, download it, you can also attach it, right? So I'm pretty sure they violated multiple laws, right? So all you have to do is Google that and let's go to chapter five and I'll also look up this one right here. Hey, acquisition of um, information, right? I'm pretty sure, hey, they sent you a postcard. Hey, they probably used, um, they probably had some language on there showing that they was a debt collector. So you wanna go ahead and put all these different type of laws on there. Now, once you have that, you wanna go ahead, what you, what you want the desire to be, right? So the desire is to, let's see if I can find it real quick. Correction to a credit report, right? And then, upload supporting documents once you upload it you're going to click on continue and then you want to go ahead i have read bam bam and then click on submit right i'm not submitting right now so this is a way to get results in 30 days 
using the BBB, hey, they don't play, right? Hey, they gonna light those collection agencies up. So use the laws, pull all the laws that you need to put on there because I'm pretty sure they violated you many different ways. So, hey, let me show you how to do the second way to get you some quick results. So the second way to get your results in a timely fashion, right? I'm gonna show you, right? Is using a, this company right here, attorney general, and depending on what state you in, is depending on, um, of course, so attorney, attorney general's state of Alabama. I'm currently in Alabama right now, but wherever state you in, Florida, Virginia, California, Texas, whoever, right? Go ahead and click on this. Click on attorney general's office, and what you want to do? You want to file a complaint, a consumer complaint, right? And you're a consumer, and you have rights. So what you want to do is fill out all your personal information, right? Once you fill out all your personal information. So this is just to speak for one collection at a time. I know it takes time. However, if you want results, you got to put in the work. If you want results, you gotta put in the work. If you don't put in the work, you're not gonna get nothing, right? So you're gonna go ahead and put all the um the collection, the collection agency's information. Once you put in the collection, um, the collection information, the collection agency information, then what you want to go ahead and description of an issue, right? What happened, right? So what they do, they violated your rights. The same thing that you put on this is the same thing you're gonna do, right? You're gonna put um Continue. So the same thing you put on this is the same thing you want to put, right? If they violated your rights and you got to put on how they violate your rights, I'm going to show you how they violate your rights. So you just want to go ahead and put the description on what happened, right? How did they violate your rights? So put everything that they did, right? This date, they did that. This date, they did that. Just put everything on there. Once you put all that on there, what's going to happen is they're gonna um, go ahead and put your um, initials, put on my robot, and then submit. They're gonna email you back on how did they violate your rights. So what you wanna do is show how they violated your rights. I'm pretty sure uh, multiple collection agencies sent you multiple letters, so go get that. Don't be afraid of opening the mail, right? Don't be afraid of opening your mail. Go get that, mark it up, show how they violated your rights, show how they um, they said that you owe this and what and whatever. How they communicated with you when they're not supposed to communicate with you you got to show all those different type of things so just put all that on there um when they email you the attorney general office is going to send your email back don't be afraid to respond back you're a consumer you have rights so don't be afraid now let's get into the third way to see the results hey my most favorite one yo the attorney general's office hey they don't play no games when it comes to the consumers right so they're a place to get you results so actually use them because what's going to happen is like i said before they're going to email you but you need to respond back don't be scared to respond back don't be scared to open up your letters because hey you have rights now i don't need you to be having no anxiety attacks like every time you see a collection agency anytime they call you hey when they call you hey why are you calling me you don't have no right to call me right according to 15 usc 1692 c why are you calling me? So you gotta start using your rights. Start knowing your laws. Once you start understanding what your power is, hey, it's game over. So make sure you respond to the uh, Attorney General's office email and show how they actually violate your rights. Now we're gonna talk about my most favorite way, right? Let's get into my most one of my most favorite ways. And you want results in 14 days? Hey, this is my most favorite way, right? And y'all should already know what it is, right? CFPB. Hey, the CFPB, Consumer Financial Protection Bill. Hey, but them, you already know, they don't play no games when it comes to consumers, right? So you act, you gotta show um, how they violate your rights when it comes to this. Once you show them, hey, it's game over. Let me see, click on submit a complaint. Once you click on submit a complaint, I don't see why it's not popping up. You gonna click on start a new complaint. And then you already know what to do, depending on which way you wanna go about it. And if you wanna do debt collection, or if you want to do credit reporting, it all depends, right? So credit reporting is the most common way. We're going to click on that. But if it's the debt collection and you want to just dispute with the debt collection, you just click on that. So depending on which way you want to go about it, it's depending on which way you want to go ahead and dispute. So um, if you want to talk about everything that's on your credit report, right, go to credit reporting. If you don't, if you just want to dispute with the collection, hey, you have time. So go ahead and hey, knock them out, right? So what you want to do now is click on 
um, sorry, incorrect, no, improper use of your credit report, report on company, um, use your credit, um, your, your report improperly. Have you tried to fix this problem? Yes. Now, once you can do that, you're gonna go ahead and click on, I don't know why I keep on doing that. You wanna go ahead and click on what happened. You're gonna put everything that happened, right? Put all the laws, put everything that happened. And once you do that, click on that. And then what you want the fair resolution to be, you, you want the accounts to be removed from your credit report, right? So after you do that, oops, you're gonna click on next. But you wanna go ahead and upload the documents, right? Upload how they violate your rights, show them how they violate your rights, and yo, quote the law, do what you have to do. Put every single law if you have, not every single one, but put all the laws that you need to put on there to show, because we're not playing, man. Hey, I know, like I said, time is very valuable, and your time is very precious. So we don't have 45, 90 days, 120 days, two years, three years to wait to get these accounts, right? If you have a bankruptcy, we don't have seven years to wait for a bankruptcy to come off. We don't have that. And, and that's supposed to not be on your credit report anyway. So however, we don't have time to wait. So what we want to do is, um, oops. We just want to let them know, right? So put all the documents and everything that you need to support it. Click on next. Once you click on next, um, you're going to go ahead and put everything, right? You're going to put Experian and then they're going to actually put another one. You can put Equifax and actually put another one. You put TransUnion, right? And you click on next and you'll put out, you'll put all your personal information that you need. We all know that the CFPB, hey, they don't play no games at all, right? So I have a video right here. It's called a 14 day hack. And with that video, a hey, people are getting crazy results. Two days, three days, instant results. This day, that day, right? People are getting results. People are putting the work. So what you want to do is put in the work. Don't wait until see if this person got results, right? Because that person probably got results but never came back to respond. So put in the work, do what you have to do. I'll show you step by step by step by step on what you got to do to do the 14 day hack. Yo, it's crazy and I appreciate y'all for actually doing it and you need to do it too. So how to get results in five days, right? The way you get results in five days is based off of if you have your identity stolen, right? So when the credit bureaus receive your, um, I'm going to show you what to, what to do, but when the credit bureaus receive this, you will see results in within like five, five days, right? Because they have to, according to the law, if your identity was stolen, they have to remove these items within the, um, or they have to suppress these items and remove them and do an investigation and get them off your credit report within five days. So here's where you want to go when it comes to that, right? It's called FTC. Now with the, with the FTC, hey man, they don't play no games at all. So what you want to do is file a complaint, uh, report identity theft, and you're going to go to this website right here. Now on this website, you're going to go ahead and click on get started. And you want to go ahead, I want to report another type of identity theft. And then you're going to click on credit cards. And then, hey, in another video, I'm going to explain what a credit card actually is. It's not what you actually think. It's something totally different. But what you're going to go ahead and click on continue. And then whatever happened, right, with those credit cards, those loans, or, um, I mean, those, um, yeah, those credit cards, loans, whatever, those collections, um, whatever that's on there, you want to go ahead and click on continue and then put the, the account name. You want to put the account number, the data was open, the fraudulent activity and everything and fill it out and click on continue. And then once you click on continue, fill out the personal info. Well, you want to click on, if you wanted to have, if you have more than one, click on that. But if you don't, you click on continue and then fill out your personal information and download the, re the report. So when it comes to the FTC, right? Depending on which way you want to go about it, you can dispute online by using the CFPB or you can mail it in, right? And you, and you want to do both. So with the um, when you mail it in, make sure you have the report and have two forms of identification. You want to send it to Experian, you want to send it to TransUnion, you want to send it to Equifax, right? You will send it certified and make sure that they got it and also send it through the CFPB. All you got to do is upload the file and send, tell them what happened, tell them all the accounts that was um based off of identity theft and then just list it and then submit it and you'll see results within the next uh, five to 10 days, right? So that's how you file identity theft if your identity was stolen, right? If your identity was stolen, file that complaint. Now, if it wasn't, don't do that. Do the other methods I show you and you'll start seeing results in an amazing, amazing way.
Hey, class was lit, right? I'm gonna show you multiple ways on how to remove anything off your credit report within the next 30 days, right? We don't have to wait a year. We don't have to wait two years. We don't have to wait three years. We don't have to wait seven years, right? I'm gonna show you different ways on how you can get these negative items off your credit report, right? All you have to do is put in the work. It's gonna take time. However, the time is gonna pay off. You're gonna have that credit score that you want so you can buy the house, that car, get that personal funding, get some business funding. Whatever you're trying to do, right, you can get it, right? But no longer waiting a year, two years, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days to get results, right? Or for an actual credit bureau to respond back to you. So all I want to do is make sure you have the information, the tools, everything you need to get anything removed from your credit report. I appreciate, for, I appreciate you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next class.